Hi guys, in this video I'll talk about the data storage in memory while working on different integration jobs in Talent. So we have two different types of components that we could use to store data in memory. One is the buffer components and second is the hash components. And we have a buffer output and a buffer input. Buffer output is used to write data to a buffer memory and buffer input to read. Same goes for hash output and hash input. Let's switch to Talon and dive into the details. So basically both of these components can be used interchangeably. So both can be used to write data in memory and then later retrieve the data and work accordingly. But there is some something extra that we get while working on hash components. So maybe let's talk about hash components in the first place. So it's really cool that we can create multiple hash maps when working with a hash output component. So if you're working on a really complex problem and you would like to uh, store different result sets in memory and later on we would like to uh, read them and join them or merge them in some way so we can create multiple hash maps for example let's take a look on this integration jobs we read something from this component and we write it to this hash output component if you double click and open the settings so you have the option of append uh, and that, that's also really cool that you can append as many times as you want in a hash output component and basically in the hash map this is not the case when working with the buffer components we'll come back to them later and it's simply what we get from the previous component we write into the hash output and that's how we store the hash map and then we have a second hash map we are getting some data from this component and we're writing into the hash component hash output component so in order to read data that we have already written inside a hash map we use hash input component so it's always important to provide the schema of what you're going to read through it, through this hash input component so currently we're going to read id first name and last name and either you need to specify it manually or if you have a big list of different attributes that then what you can do is you can click on this button export all rows into xml file and then you can import the xml file in the hash input component and you get all the attributes right away and this is really cool you need to specify which hash map you would like to read because you could maintain multiple hash maps so in this one we would like to read hash output one and clear cache after reading so we would like we will not like to uh, to have some some extra extra weight on the memory so we would like to clear as soon as we read it and then we have the second hash input component we're going to clear the cache as soon as we read and in this case we're going to read the data from the second hash map and when we read it we're going to merge it and we display it on the console so let's run and see the result and that's it there you go so if you see what we have got from the first hash map so it's from id number one to five and then we have a second component which generates data starting from id 51 and ending up on 60 and this is the data that we're uniting at the end so this is the output that we've already got so this is what we have read from the first hash map and this is the data that we have read from the second hash map so this is really cool you do not read to write uh, data on flat files and then later deleting is also a headache 
so it's great you write the data in memory and then you read the data from memory right away now coming to the buffer components uh, something that buffer components have got extra over the hash components is that they can be used to transfer data from a child job to a parent job so a child job can write data on a buffer and then the parent job can read the data from that buffer and work accordingly and if you talk about a single integration job then you cannot uh, maintain multiple instances of buffers you have just one buffer you can write something you can read and that's it you cannot say that I want to create a buffer output one then a buffer output two like multiple objects of the buffer that's that's not allowed that's only possible with hash so in this integration job I read something I write the data on the buffer output and once again there is no functionality of its own it simply stores the data in memory and then with the help of t buffer input we specify the schema and then we read it so one time write one time read that's it so I would say it's always advisable to go for hash components you are more flexible they're more powerful you can even clear the cache right away so if you run this integration job and there you go this is the data that we have written first name last name and city of these records and we write here in buffer output component we read and we dump the data on the console that's it with the buffer component I think you've got a good understanding of how we can use both of these components if you would like to have a look of how we can use buffer components to transfer data between a child job and a parent job then kindly have a look on one of my other videos I've explained this data transfer quite in detail so thanks a lot for watching the video if you liked give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'll see you all in the next video